Welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this video, we will submit a f my first Argo workflow onto uh, the Kubernetes. So, if you don't know about Argo, so Argo it's kind of a workflow scheduler where you can run your workflows onto the Kubernetes uh, um, cluster. So, you can containerize different steps within your workflow and then all those steps can be executed as part of your workflow onto the Kubernetes cluster using Ar Argo workflows. So here you can see I have created one Argo workflow. Let me zoom in a bit. Uh, so this is my Argo workflow and the workflow that I've created, it's a Python based workflow where we will be executing three different steps uh, in this workflow and each of the step will print dif different uh, statements the Python program so if I talk about so in the Argo workflow the first uh, is the type this kind is defined as a workflow because this is a specification of Argo that you have to define as a workflow then you have to give uh, uh, a name to the workflow you can give any name to your workflow and that would be shown uh, in the Ar Argo CLI as well as the Argo UI you will see your workflows with the same name and then you will define the entry point which says that from where your Argo workflow starts so it says that my Argo workflow starts from Python multi-step workflow which is the name of this step and from here the execution will start now talking about the high level steps so you see there are uh, multiple steps which is step 1 step 2 and step 3 and all of those steps will be executed in sequence so you can have uh, fog join uh, concept also but here I have defined all the steps executing in sequence so step 1 will be executed first step 2 will be executed second and step 3 will be executed third and all of these steps are using the same template which is python print template and I'll tell you what this template consists of uh, but uh, before that I want to tell you that um, that each of the step has a parameterized message which would be printed in my python program and the message parameter says that in the step 1 it would be hello 1 in the step 2 it would be hello 2 and in the step 3 it will be hello 3 so these parameters will be passed to this template python print and if you see what is there inside python print so this is uh, the python print template and it is using uh, one docker image which is python 3.7 image and inside that uh, image uh, once uh, the container will run so this image will be uh, uh, executing on that container and my python execution environment will be available so once I'll have the python execution environment what I'm doing is I'm running this python code where I am printing the arguments which I am taking in my python program and all the arguments are coming from the message parameter which I told you so uh, in the python program one hello well, hello one would be printed in the python program step two hello two will be printed and in the python program step three hello three will be printed so this is the high level structure of Argo workflows where at the high level just to repeat at the high level you have to define the kind as workflow then you have a entry point and then you have uh, the templates list of templates and each template you can reuse uh, within other other templates so the entry point is the first template which is python multi-step workflow which uses some other template which is python print so python print is another template so i'm reusing this template here and uh, um, you can have different template in different steps you can define multiple templates and all of those templates can be reused within your workflow so my workflow uh, this workflow workflow will be executed step one step two step three and this is how you create workflow in yaml syntax uh, to submit it onto the argo so let's try to submit this workflow now using the argo cli command so let me zoom in a little bit so let me clear this if i do ls command here so you see that the same workflow is available here python multi-step workflow so you see here the name of the the name of the file is python multi-step workflow.yaml which i was showing you just now so let's try to submit it the command to submit argo workflow is um, this one argo submit uh, so argo submit will submit your workflow um, and it says that onto the kubernetes cluster which namespace you have to use so namespace i'm going to use is the argo and uh, the the workflow that I'm going to submit is Python 
multi-step workflow YAML. So if I submit it here, so you can see it has a very nice representation onto CLI that it will show you that your steps are executing. Uh, it will show you the live, exe live execution onto CLI also. So you can see that your workflow step one has completed. Now step two is getting executed. And the same thing you can see onto the Argo UI also. So this is my Argo UI and you can see that there is one uh, there is one workflow which is getting executed its circle you can see that it's still work in progress if i open this workflow you can see step one and step two are done and step three is also done if i show you the cli you can see here on cli also all the steps are done and for each of the steps you can see the pod name also that on which pod it executed so all the pods names are available here which template it used python print template it used so everything um, you can see here now if i show you that what was the output of this workflow so you can go to the log section you on the top um, in this uh, top section you can see logs are available here if I open the logs now you can see that there were three pods launched uh, as part of this workflow and each pod executed my Python program and printed hello one hello two and hello three which was passed to my Python image Python container and it was passed as an argument uh, to my python program so this program has executed as part of argo workflow and each step has been uh, executed in a containerized environment so you don't need to take care of uh, all the uh, uh, all the complex steps of managing the container so argo will manage your complete workflow uh, it will manage the state that whenever step one is executed step two should start after that and then step three so all this orchestration is being done by the argo workflow that's all which i wanted to show you about the argo workflow this is the high level argo workflow i'll share this um, workflow code um, in the video description also uh, that's it about this video thank you for watching